Hello my friends, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign playing as, that's right, the Boneyard, down here in California. Not the hub, but the Boneyard. So, custom game rules. Uh, let's see, it says default, but let's load a preset where we have a violence. And everyone's taking a random path, we'll see what happens, maybe be, uh, the Legion, whatever. Uh, just, I've already set it up to let them go down a certain path, but what we are interested in is an ahistorical boneyard path. So the mods I'm using, of course, are the normal ones, colored buttons, colored events, playlist, peace conferences, old world blues, uh, the old world blues, sweet home California, and the state transfer to a mod. So let us begin. We start off with five. Five whole divisions under someone named Seth. Oh, more attack. I like that. Less speed, more attack, less supply consumption. All right, overall, not too bad. Seth Papas. Very cool. We'll get him to be inspirational. We're going to put you guys right there immediately. And let us do our focus first, the Vault. When the Great War came, thousands of citizens flocked towards the Vault Tech demonstration vault in hopes of surviving the coming apocalypse. The security personnel of the Vault were quickly under siege by thousands of people. The security team had to decide if they were to let everyone into the Vault or only a small portion. All right, so right now... The Boneyard, also known as the City of Lights, is civilized. Not advanced, but merely civilized. Right now, let's do all the normal stuff, tool procurement, some industrial planning, and some construction basics. Like normal, I'm usually just going to build up some civilian factories first. Pretty normal stuff. Now, we have an option. We're going to obviously get an upgrade for this, some 9mm basic pistols. I'm thinking at the beginning of this campaign, what about scrap gun trucks? Basically, maybe we should use APCs right off the bat. That sounds like a lot of fun. If we want to do that, let's get some guns here. That's going to require a lot of factories. Some anti-tank rifles would be nice later on. Some of that, some of that. Maybe scout kits? I'm thinking either special forces, scout kits, or power armor. In this campaign, let me know in the comments below. Power armor or scout kits? Either one. Cool. Uh, so we'll save that for later, maybe. Maybe get some power armor. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I can count. We're not doing that yet. We're not doing that yet. Looks good. We're going to need some more of this, too. But it takes forever to make saws, which is meh. All right. So, with the Navy, canoes really don't cut it for me. And the bigger the number, the better. There you go. And then, boom. We've got it all sorted. I'll put you at four. Put you at three. Boost you up, come to the Boneyard, level 10 naval port. Very nice. And we do want to make... Ooh. So our infantry right now is 12 combat width. Not bad. But we want some APCs there. 20 combat width, which is actually... 20, 250 manpower. Good songs attack, breakthrough, not too bad. A little bit of armor. I want to use these early games just because they do have some armor. And we don't get the option for robots, so... Let's do that. We can train a little bit of infantry as well, just because it's good to have those guys on the front lines. Motorized. I've never used motorized, which I should use sometime. Other than that, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty darn good. Let's let the time go on and look and see if we have a navy. Do we have a navy? Do we have any ships? No. Do we have an air force? No. We are starting off, well, with very little. So, the vault. When the Great War occurred, the security teams within the demonstration vault were forced to decide who would they let inside of the vault. They finally decided to let in the masses? Hurts our stability. Armed forces, so we get BNS Old Army. Get some scavenge power armor, common energy weapons, which, eh, common, common energy weapons wouldn't be bad to get right now. Or intellectuals for stability and research speed. I love manpower, but with this focus tree I've already checked, it's got quite a few different ways to get a lot of manpower, so we probably don't need that right now. This looks nice, but if I can get more research speed, the better. So, exiting the vault. In the year 2092, the inhabitants of the demonstration vault opened its doors to the wasteland. Its inhabitants were largely surprised to see the video was largely spared the devastation of the Great War, with the city's skyscrapers still standing tall as well. Yes, so right now we get, we get 0.91 political power day. That's really not great in my mind, but we do have some national spirits. We have BO1 gunrunners, which hurts our political power and consumer goods, but gives us a little bit more production for guns and app output. Some bond, boneyard raider troubles. We lose political power, attrition, and we use quite a bit more supply. And then we have the followers' influence already somehow, but whatever. So we exited the vault. The vault dwellers were surprised to see the skyscrapers of the city. That They were untouched, though, by the Great War, as was the LA military base. If you didn't know, the boneyard is literally LA. It's pretty much LA. You know, the ruins of LA. 
Ooh, I like factories. Thousand Oaks Industrial Sector, which I like as well. Or the Mulholland Dam. Now, that is some good stuff. Advanced components. If we were to take over areas... Right now, we already have eight. That's pretty good. I want to take out the Scorpions early. Or as early as I can, so we can get into the Mojave. Because I like the Mojave a lot. Uh, if we want to take out the Brotherhood, they have a little bit of that resource. Really, it's best to choose this. It really is. But I'm going to choose LA Military Base because I like factories too. The Factions of the Boneyard. As the years went on, several factions grew within the Boneyard and became very influential in the day-by-day -day life of the city's population. The most influential of these factions was, without a doubt, Blankety. Blankety. Blank. Cool. And right now, let's see. I'm really focusing hard on Fireteam Weaponry because, for some reason, that's always the thing that gets produced the least or I need to focus on the most. So, the most influential faction within the Boneyard has been, without a reasonable doubt... The Raider Gangs. Ooh, we get more attack. Followers of the Apocalypse. We lose war support, but gain even more stability and technocracy. The city of Adutum. Adutum. Hmm, I like that. Hmm. I love output, but if I can get attack, that'd be really good. Uh, Raider Gangs. Hold on. Let's double check this real quick. So, because we have a choice, we can crush the gangs. Gangs of the Boneyard. Or we can employ the gangs. Hmm. Crush the regulators, crush the blades. So I guess either gangs, rippers, blades, and regulators. Oh, I like the attack. And I might need that attack when we attack early, but then if we're using APCs, they really can't pierce us, probably. Uh, let's go with output. Let's go with the city of Adutum. Just because we want as many APCs as possible, but we have the master. So the master only had one goal. Convert the entire population of California into super mutants, but... His goals were dashed away after the Vault Dweller successfully detonated a nuclear warhead within his base of operations, effectively ending the threat of the Master. In the aftermath of the Master's defeat, the people of the Boneyard did something, which we'll know in just a little bit. Oh, we need more water and scrap. Oh, that is not good. Hmm. Let's also just disable backstory decisions. Now, I love doing this, but let's do this first. So, the people of the Boneyard decided to do what? Get common energy weaponry, or aid the Brotherhood in hunting down the remnants, or provide sanctuary for the mutants. Ooh, we get mutants. Actually, how much? We believe in the people, but hmm. Because actually, if you, if you do this path, you do get super mutants, which is actually really nice. The weaponry is nice. Being nice to the Brotherhood's okay. I could really use more guns, though. Hmm. Lower my stability for super mutants. How far are we with constructing these things? Not very far at all. Hmm. Mutants actually are better infantry right now than regular infantry. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do it anyways. Why not? We'll pull some super mutants. Cool. And actually, how, how much uh, political power will it take to go to war with you guys? 17 more. That's not bad. So, now we can do all an assortment of stuff. Let's consolidate the Boneyard's militias first, though. So, the Boneyard's are defended by several dozen independent militia groups that defend their own settlements and borders. If we are to ever ensure the continued independence, we must consolidate these militias into one united army to ensure our borders will stay protected. Absolutely. Absolutely. And these super mutants, uh, they have exact same combat width. These have 54 soft attack, which is pretty good. They have triple the something supply use. No, maybe not. Maybe not triple. That's probably easier to actually... Let me do it like this. Put you both under here. There we go. So, mutants are on the left, infantry's on the right. Let's let the time go just a little bit slower so we can look at this. So, infantry has less soft attack, less hard attack, same on air attacks, same defense, a little bit less breakthrough, no armor, piercing's the same, everything else is the same. They have triple the weight, which it just requires more transports to ship, so that really doesn't matter or mean anything. Uses just a little bit more supply. Same recovery, has roughly half the organization, roughly, and then has actually way more HP. So, I like the soft attack and just a little bit more breakthrough on these super mutants, which is very, very nice. Even though we did lose 5% stability, but that's okay. Where we're going, we'll do alright. Alright, let's go and justify on them, because it's going to take forever to do. 8% more. Oh, 25 days. That's actually better than I thought. Cool. And... Let's see, we are currently on settlement protection. We need to go to Wasteland Economy or Well-Equipped Army. We also... Oh, Discouraged Traders, we're already on that, that's pretty good. Uh, something about the Boneyard, we have no Research Advisor. And we have no Cultural Advisor, we do have a few Economic Advisors, but that's kind of nice. 
Construction basics, cool, we got this stuff done. Work is needed, just go ahead and do that. Improvise tools, construction basics, and with the land auction, I'm probably gonna just stay with conventional warfare. It's tried, it's true. It's probably what the Boneyard would do. So, we're gonna go down that path, you guys. Really don't need a train, which is okay with me. And then we're probably gonna go with this, so we get another free civilian factory. That'd be good. Because we only get 10 a month. 20% eh, of 10% of 10 is not very much. We get 11. Wow. A whole 20% more. Big numbers. Big numbers. And I do have a couple of quite warm Earl Grey tea here. Hmm. Boneyard or LA green. No, black tea. Earl Grey tea. Earl Grey tea. Earl Grey tea. Earl. So how many divisions does this faction have over this country? 1 to 3,000 manpower. 3 to 11, so that's why I really want those APCs done, and we're going to continue building up our industry, our military industry. So to ensure our arms industry can stay competent against our foes, we must begin employing the infamous gun runners. Nice. And this is exactly why I've been trying to push more, I put five factors here immediately, because that just takes forever. We can make, th well, that doesn't make any, does that make sense? We can make three, or no, that does make sense. I thought, I thought it would be like three Scrap gun trucks a day versus one of these a day. Oh, that would have been really bad. But you know what? Three week. That makes more sense than <laughs> one a day for this. So that's not too bad. Not too bad. I still want anti tank because, well, anti tank's important. Uh, do that for so. Because we're not finding any robots yet, as far as I know. So it'll be important to get some demo teams, some chem companies as well. But yeah, this is this isn't too bad. Let's do that. Do that. Did we get Black Tribe, Special Forces, and Militias. We might use Enforcers depending on our industry. We'll see what happens. Oh, they have a ship. Nice. Go ahead and train. Good. And the Troll Warrant are on the Carcass Walkers. Very cool. Uh, Felix Knight, SS. Are you kidding me, son? You know what? To make sure that these guys don't die immediately, I'm going to pull my soldiers off so they don't see them. There you go. Deploy those soldiers somewhere else. Defend against the SSR. Oh, Shady Sands. Shady Sands. Why? 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 I, I, I purposely wanted to go to War of the Scorpions myself, Shady Sands. So go, please go somewhere else. Please go to War with the Grabber Territory or something. You guys aren't really that strong. So we'll see what happens. I... Hmm. Hmm, Wendell. Hmm. Actually, I... No. Do I know anyone named Wendell? I don't think so. Alright, 18, 55, 4 to 14. I mean, they're pretty even, except in industry. Fairly even, probably. Ah, employ the gun runners, good. Expand the fortresses. Ah, construction speed and another armed workshop. Yes, funding the gun runners will ensure we are capable of properly arming our soldiers. Also, we did get rid of that deep buff, I hope. One of them. Yeah. I don't know. Let in scientists. Well, whatever, regardless. That's okay. Good. High chapel. What do you guys need immediately? Just more stuff. We're gonna get some infantry as well. That's good. That's good. I don't want to send guys, volunteers over here. How strong are these guys? You know what? I might just go to war with the SSR. If they take out the Scorpions, I will just go to war with the SSR immediately. Just because I don't like this. I really don't like this. Why do you have to go to war with them? I want to go to war with the Scorpions. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's grab our territory still here. Blackfoot is fighting a two-front war already. Well, that's... That's not good, man. That's not good. I just want a little bit of Scorpion territory. 66. Come on, guys. Give it better defense. Better defense. What a violent SSR. So violent. We're just going to go ahead and do all these next ones, too. So we can get even more output. Don't make me justify a new SSR. Shady Sands Republic. Don't make me. Cool. Uh, next up. Uh, Chief Army, Defense. We'll probably get more attack, to be honest with you. Let's see. Military High Command, Attrition, Artillery. That's not bad. Uh, right now we have eight. It's not a lot. Can we do anything here? We can go here. How much? We have 50%. Hmm. It's only 5% more and 20% more construction speed. Hmm. I would have loved a research advisor, to be honest with you. Just go do that one first. That's fine. Yeah. I'm probably going to go to war with the SSR. Wait. I was that? Was that? Not justifying on these guys? Well, alright then. I thought I was justifying on them. Guess I'm wrong. Oh, what is that? 
Well, how many divisions they got? Five to twenty-four. That's a that's early game. That's a that's a pretty big range. Oh, we even have these guys. Nice. Hmm. I'm gonna put you under someone else. Let's go and grab General Joe Marklin. Finding speed at ditch vision. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I do not want you. You can lead the uh, super mutants. There you go. Now the armor guys here. Matthew Foster. He's a hills fighter. He's strong. Lots of attack. A little bit less max entrenchment, but that's okay. Very good. Uh, yeah, might as well grab that immediately. Go ahead and train if you need to a little bit. Fund the Gunrunners expansion. Good. A City of Bones. Let's do that one first. So LA is nothing more than a broken and decaying city. Its streets lay desolate and destroyed. Its skyscrapers lay quiet in the skies. And its inhabitants live in impoverished, barely holding on to life. We must begin rebuilding this once great city if we were to ever reach our full potential. Yes, yes, yes. That is very, very important. Yeah, this is... This is a little upsetting. Scorpions. Yeah. Hmm. I need 15 more. That's not too bad. 175 days. That's not really too bad. And I'll probably use a tactic. Wow, you got encircled. That sucks for you. Oh, man. But I'll use a tactic where I'm just going to let the enemy just run into our lines early on. Just Hoi4 AI is pretty infamous for that. Wow. I hope you get a lot of resistance, Shady Sands Republic. You deserve all the resistance. One more. There we go. There we go. Hopefully they don't have any anti-tank. Anti Maybe we'll see some infantry around here. Ah, battle plan's very good. Max planning. Let's create some defense and organization for infantry, motorized, and mechanized. Manpower's looking pretty good. We still need some more APCs. Eh, this is actually looking pretty good. We need more, of course, infantry equipment, but that'll come over time. And we need more resources. Ooh, that's not good. That's a big army you got right there, NCR. Too bad. Or NCR, SSR. Close enough. Mm, that's fine. That's okay. Let time go on. And our focus should be more than halfway done. That's good. Anything else here to comment on? No, we're taking forever for research, though. Taking forever. And I'll use the APC when they attack our lines, wherever they're really needed for defense. Hmm. Let's see. Troll Warren Rip Breakers? No music? All right, well, let's see. Let's leave Shore, even though we're not leaving yet. Uh, made in the Boneyard. Factory Alpha would be nice. City and Anarchy. We can get more stability. Infrastructure is nice. Civilian factories, not bad, not bad. Let's go ahead and grab, expand the fortress first up. So the Gunrunners headquarters, also known as the fortress, is a base of operations of the Gunrunners weapons production. And as such, expanding the lower levels of the fortress would ensure increased weaponry output. Yes, which is something we really need for these saws. That's probably the biggest thing that we need. And then we'll get some more basic weaponry. Oh, we are Lord of the Waste, which means we are now a major power with 40 factories here. Awesome. You guys, hey, we got a battle cruiser. It's probably not very good, honestly. It's probably really garbage. Yeah, it's it's not great. It's really not great. But that's okay. It's our not great ship. Cool, you guys are almost done training. That's good. We are about a month away from three of these things being done. Expanding the fortress. Followers influence. Yes, construction speed. How is this coming along? Oh, look. Another division. Good. And they have up to 20 divisions, which is fine with me. And we have 100 days left before we go to war and cause a big ruckus. Now, let's hope. Now, they get, they're get they getting a lot of compliance. Oh, compliance gain is disabled. Very good. Very, very good. How about resistance? 20.10. Oh, it's, oh, it's going down. Oh, they got a lot of resistance going down. Holy cow. Are they destroying people's lives or something? Hmm. How much manpower do they have? 4 to 27. Wow. Ah, the manpower seems to be fluctuating. Good, we got that stuff done. Let's get some... Ooh, maybe not do that one. Let's not do that one yet. Let's have you come over here first. There we go. And then we shall grab some of that. And then planes. Planes are very, very important for war. Incredibly important. Oh, look, we got enough scrap gun trucks to do that. So that we don't have too much of a need for more resources for these guys. That'll be good. Washington Brotherhood to clear one of the cause. We could probably use some more basic weaponry. Just so we have a stockpile. So when we take over territory eventually we'll be okay when uh doing resistance made in the boneyard nationalize the gun runners even more construction speed that sounds like fun made in the boneyard though made in the boneyard will become a symbol known across the waste as our weapon production goes into full scale absolute full scale that'll be great we got nine civilian factories churning out factories as fast as possible 
Our fire teams are looking great. I think the is looking okay. APCs, we got a stockpile. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. In the next, let's see, oh, I'll be done within almost a month-ish. And our next books will be done in a few weeks as well. And our focus for these guys, well, oh, they're getting more manpower, looks like. That's not ideal, but whatever. You guys, just go ahead and grab this. I always, I love, love, love building as much civilian factories early game as possible. Even though conquering is a good way to get more civilian factories too. And that's some good tea. Alright, another ship here. Very nice, very good. Felix Knight, hope you'll do, be doing very well for us. <clears throat> oh, you don't want everyone to repair at the same time. Just keep training, keep training. Get as much as you can right now. That's the most important thing. We're almost done with the Maiden of the Boneyard. That'll be good. Military Society. Oh, we got paid. Ah, now that's good. Good. Go to war with them and see how they're going to fail. Actually, what I'm just going to probably plop over this province here, take out the Long 15, and circle destroy whatever's over there. And circle landers, probably. I'm glad they went to war with the Grabber Territory. You are expanding yourself too quickly. Early game. SSR, and I love it. I love it. Uh, There's going to be a lot of resistance we're going to have to take out, though. Hmm. We're probably going to have to go to outsider battalions, get as much daily compliance as possible. Ooh. Speaking of compliance, oh, we can't change that yet. That's okay. That's okay. How much longer must we wait? Oh, 10 days. That's not bad. We need the Boneyard. Next up, nationalize the Gunrunners. With the Gunrunners now an economic superpower, it's time. Well, wow, economic superpower already within two months? Well, oh, that's great. So it's time for us to nationalize the gunrunners to ensure properly that their weapons only fall into allied hands. Even more construction speed. Build, my friends. Build, 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 build. At this point, you probably don't even need to train. Get on the front lines right there. And boop. There we go. Hmm. Hills fighter and an expert hill fighter at that. Very good. Uh, we probably don't need to train or prepare for any naval. Well, we might have some naval fights over there. Ah, uh, good. Are we ready? Do you have some planning speed? Do you have your organization? Well, the planning is taking a while. Infantry, very good. Well, we might as well go to war. Since they're just a little distracted. Cool, you don't even have enough divisions to guard this area. Okay. Well, you can send one guy that way, I suppose. That'd be okay. You guys are spreading out, which is fine. Confederacy dig low, declare war in the rapids. Oh, we gotta have to watch out for these guys. Oh, are you encircled? Oh, you can actually pierce me. Oh, you can pierce me already? Holy cow. Yeah, I'm glad we don't have robots. They must have uh, piercing on them. That'd be good. You guys, just all come to the long 15. If possible. Get the infantry up here as well. Grab me one infantry division. We have five. Jesus. Go on and keep them in place. And go there. Nice. You guys go south. You both just kill that division off. Fuel fortifications and then coordinated assault for more breakthrough, which I love, 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 love. Good, and that division is going to be bye bye. Thank you for playing. You don't even need to move that way because we got those guys moving here. Alright, APCs. We want to have a, a pretty good time doing this, so you guys come there. And bop, bop, bop. Three exactly. Good. And move. Move. Mm -hmm. Move. Without you, you guys move there. Without you, you're gonna just follow up as well, so. Something like that. Encircle them, destroy them, make their army suffer. We'll split our lands between us and grab our territory. I think that'd be pretty nice. Very good. You know, you could have avoided this, Shady Sands Republic, if you didn't take out the Scorpions. I would have been willing to split my lands. But no, you chose, you chose holy, never again. Oh, how many divisions are actually here? Two? Probably two? And let's reduce the casualties by having everyone attack. Oh, and you guys have to attack here too. There you go. Very good. Ah, get those super mutants in there. Joe, I was going to say malarkey. Joe malarkey? But no. Land night attack, awareness recon. Yeah, I'll do nerd rage. I like nerd rage. That's a pretty good one. Uh, maybe we some commander here. Aaron Reynolds. Less of, well, that's not bad. Aaron Reynolds, welcome to the wasteland. <laughs> uh, negotiate a uh, smooth talker. 
Ah, beautiful. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. We need more infantry equipment. That's what I thought. Go ahead and do that. That'll, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Ooh, planes? Yes, please. I actually probably will build some gliders in this campaign as well. Beautiful. Just beautiful. So, get everyone on the line. And actually, where are you guys at? Warrior training. It's not bad. Crowd control actually isn't that expensive to build, which is nice. At this point, you could probably just go ahead and do this. I mean, I can't imagine they have that many more divisions. We just took out a few of them. Do that, do that. And then... Ooh, look at that. Laser pistols. That's kind of cool. Service rifles. Lawbringer shotgun. Enforcer pistol. Assault carbine. Marksman carbine. It's looking pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Doggos! Alright, let's have some fun, my friends. Yeah. How many divisions they have left? 12 to 16. Okay. Yeah. 12... 6 to 12. Ooh, I have just, like, some sort of slight dyslexia. Go ahead and do that, too. More civilian factories. We can build more stuff, produce more stuff, get more infantry equipment. And now we've occupied territories, so we're going to go with beating the heck out of these wastelanders. And use militias. that would be much more important. Oh, you actually came back this way. Oh, well, whatever. Alrighty, let's see. State militias, that's okay. The raider threat, more political power. The mutants... Cain's core on Eagle Mountain. Ooh, that's for remnants. Core on Two Harbor. Ooh, the city. Oh, that looks really good. Repairing the testing sites. The rival to the south. Uh, let's go with decayed potential. So, the entire city of the Boneyard has been neglected for hundreds of years, even before the war. Of course. However, our engineers believe that they may be capable, capable of getting some pre-war factories operational to help create a capable economy for the city. And I agree so. Let's go that way. Let's take them out like this. They'll be happy if they die. Just go here and then pop, pop, pop. Are they? How? Hmm. Shady Sands hasn't fallen yet, but they're getting pretty close. They're getting pretty darn close. Good. Go ahead and take them out if you can. That'd be great. There we go. You guys come right there. Even if you don't win here against the special forces, no one cares. Because now you can do that and say bye bye to them. They have 5 to 17 divisions. They're pretty close to capitulation. And we're doing very well. Very, very well. Motorized flight. Very good. Also, let me know in the comments below. I love close air support so much, but should I use them? Or bombers? Which one do you think is better for the Boneyard? Close air support or tactical bombers? Right now I'm going to go and do biplane fighters as well, just because I, I found to really enjoy those planes. So, let's go and do that. And of course, after this war, we are going to need to recover quite a bit. This is a lot of territory. You guys, head on down to Junktown, take Quartz Hill. Take two layers fast. Oh, hello. The cause was annexed. Very nice. Uh, yes. Have they stopped attacking? Huh. You're going to have to stop this guy from moving in too much. There you go. Good. Need you. Keeping them in place. That's good. Now, I can't have you move this way, so you're going to have to hold him in place. Y'all moving out. You come over here. You doing encirclement as well. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. Hey, look. Yeah, move right there. You get another division, and they're going to die. And dead enemy divisions are the best type of divisions. Ten signs. Ranchers. Are right, they got to be really close. So obviously I'm not going to take all this territory, I'm going to give some... Oh, are you kidding me? You have to come over here too. We're going to have to do split some of this territory up with me and the grabbers, which is fine with me because there's going to be a lot of resistance in a place like this. Go ahead and start taking all this out. That's fine. Crowd control. Just move up here so they can't do anything else. Good. Next up, we shall do vehicles. Eh, vehicles might be good to do. More maybe... A little more speed. Nice, good. Take the territory. And they are dead. Alright. They can have Shady Sands Republic or this Shady Sands City just because. Oh, grab. You can have that. You know what? I'll even give you this part just because I don't want to deal with it. But. I'm going to spend. Or take everything else just because. Well, I think we deserve it. Now that's going to be a lot of resistance. That's going to be a lot of manpower gone. So that's why we're going with Decayed Potential. And employing scavenging teams eventually, maybe, maybe not. We'll go down here. Raider Threat probably next. So we can repair testing sites and get some more manpower because, ooh, we don't have a lot. We really don't have a lot. 
I'm probably going to go to Wasteland Militias next, too. Get potential, which, what does it give us? Ah, infrastructure. Great infrastructure. How great. Alright, so, let's do that. Because we can't really support too much more of an army right now, because we are out of manpower. How unfortunate. Uh, if anything, I'm going to have you guys come down south to mm, defend against the Dayglow. I doubt they'll attack. I really doubt it. But that's okay. And then you guys come over to... Ah, just stay in the capital. Hang out in the capital. I'm not going to give you anything like that. Just come to the capital. Hang out, train, have a good time. Got a little bit of manpower. Just a tiny bit of manpower. What is resistance like? She declared war on Tinker Vagrant. That's nice. Oh, California's on fire. But that's the way we like California. Let's see. Any place? Uh, so it takes one, two to get some more manpower. Let's do that one first. So, establish the state militia. With the Boneyard's militias officially consolidated, we are ready to form the Boneyard state militia, which will act and protect the borders of the Boneyard, and in the worst case scenario, acting beyond our borders. We get... Mm, I like the political power. I really, really do. And we have now five APC divisions. That's awesome. 24... Oh, never mind. No more divisions. If that's the case, go and do that. Hmm, what is our industry like? We're doing well with that. Let's see if we can build some in some of this. We're definitely going to need some of these guys. So we need more guns, so I'm not going to take that off. I'm going to do that. Keep you there. We're going to make some crowd control here, which should help us in the long run. And I'm going to wait to get some more manpower as well, because, well, this is going. This is going. Ah, mongrels. Ah, yes, I love them. Uh, I got some dynamite, too. Dynamite's always super nice to get. Always, always, always. Right now we get... A little more construction speed. We're going to lower our construction speed by 3%, which is okay. For 2% more recruited population. We're going to get 0.87 a day. Research-wise, we're almost done with... Well, we're getting there with planes next. But that's not too bad. For the Boneyard, it's a very curvy Boneyard. We took out the Scorpions. Technically not, but we did split up Shady Sands Republic with the Grabber Territory, which is looking very... long. That's probably not good for them in the long run. Hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. But, uh... Next up... We might just go to war with the hub and then take out the Brotherhood if we get enough anti-tank. But then again, it really depends on our manpower because hmm, we're not looking good right now on manpower. Whoa. Oh, the, oh, resistance is going down in the Scorpions, which is incredibly useful. But resistance is still kind of rising up here in the Shady Sands Republic, which makes sense. Foreign support. Manpower provided by other countries. Huh. And we have, eh, we have 10 factories. That's not too bad, actually. That's pretty good. And come on. We'll end the episode once we get... A change to our conscription lock. It's just a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Almost there. Almost there. And boom. Wasteland. Oh, actually, can we get any higher? No. Nice. Now we're mobilizing, and we'll, I guess we'll finish off with the focus. Ah, 100 more political power. So, let us join, serve, and protect. It is the duty of every civilian within the Boneyard to join the state's militia, as it is the only way to ensure the safety of our families and our communities, of course. And as such, we have decided to launch a propaganda campaign to attempt to get more volunteers to join the state's militia. Firstborn, Army Corps. So guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll catch you all tomorrow after you let me know in the comments below. Power armor or special forces? Close air support or tactical bombers? Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.